One. What time will Josh and Hannah meet? Hi, Hannah. Don't forget we're going to the cinema for Lucy's birthday tonight. I know, Josh. Shall we go together? We can catch the seven o'clock bus from Grange Road. Okay. I'll come to your house at a quarter to seven, and we can walk to the bus stop from there. Great. But don't be late. The film starts at half past seven. Now listen again. Hi, Hannah. Don't forget we're going to the cinema for Lucy's birthday tonight. I know, Josh. Shall we go together? We can catch the seven o'clock bus from Grange Road. Okay. I'll come to your house at a quarter to seven, and we can walk to the bus stop from there. Great. But don't be late. The film starts at half past seven. Two. How much did the girl pay for her tennis shoes? So these are your new tennis shoes. How much were they? Don't worry, Dad. Remember you said I could spend seventy pounds. Well, I found these for just thirty pounds in the sale. That's excellent news. Yes, there was an even nicer pair for forty pounds, but they were a bit big. Now listen again. So these are your new tennis shoes. How much were they? Don't worry, Dad. Remember, you said I could spend seventy pounds. Well, I found these for just thirty pounds in the sale. That's excellent news. Yes, there was an even nicer pair for forty pounds, but they were a bit big. Three. Which notebook was left in the classroom? Joe, I think you've left your notebook in the classroom. No, that's not mine. Mine hasn't got stars on it. Of course, yours has circles, doesn't it? I know Tom's has stripes on the cover, so it's not his. Actually, I think it might be Jessica's. I'll ask her. Good idea. Now listen again. Joe, I think you've left your notebook in the classroom. No, that's not mine. Mine hasn't got stars on it. Of course, yours has circles, doesn't it? I know Tom's has stripes on the cover, so it's not his. Actually, I think it might be Jessica's. I'll ask her. Good idea. Four. Which after-school sport will the boy do this term? What sport are you going to do after school this term? Football again? Well, I actually wanted tennis, but there weren't enough people for that, and now the football club is full, so I had to choose basketball. It's a shame, as I really like football. You're good at it too. Thanks. Now listen again. What sport are you going to do after school this term? Football again? Well, I actually wanted tennis, but there weren't enough people for that, and now the football club is full, so I had to choose basketball. It's a shame, as I really like football. You're good at it too. Thanks. Five. What will the girl eat for dinner tonight? Hi, Dad. What's that you're cooking? 
It's roast chicken for our dinner. Do you mind if I have something else? I had a big plate of pasta at school, so I'm not very hungry. No problem. There's some soup in the fridge. Perfect. I'll have the chicken tomorrow. Now listen again. Hi, Dad. What's that you're cooking? It's roast chicken for our dinner. Do you mind if I have something else? I had a big plate of pasta at school, so I'm not very hungry. No problem. There's some soup in the fridge. Perfect. I'll have the chicken tomorrow. That is the end of part one. Test one. Listening. Part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a girl leaving a message about band practice. Hi everyone, this is Sarah on the 25th of April. Don't forget the school concert is on the 21st of May. It's great that our band is playing in it, but we really need to practice before then. We all have after school activities from Monday to Thursday, so let's meet on Friday. We can talk about how many songs we're going to play and which ones, that sort of thing. I've booked a room for us. It's called the Callisto Room. That's C A double L I S T O. I'm not sure we've ever been there before. It's on the third floor. There's a dance class starting in there at three o'clock. So we can begin at 4. I think we should finish by 6 p.m. It's a long practice this time, so don't forget snacks. But no need to bring your own instruments. We can use the schools. Oh, one more thing. If my phone is switched off and you need to send me a message, call the school secretary on... Zero three seven two six double nine eight two four one. She'll find me. Now listen again. Hi everyone. This is Sarah on the twenty fifth of April. Don't forget the school concert is on the twenty first of May. It's great that our band is playing in it, but we really need to practice before then. We all have after-school activities from Monday to Thursday, so let's meet on Friday. We can talk about how many songs we're going to play and which ones, that sort of thing. I've booked a room for us. It's called the Callisto Room. That's C... A double L I S T O. I'm not sure we've ever been there before. It's on the third floor. There's a dance class starting in there at three o'clock, so we can begin at four. I think we should finish by six p.m. It's a long practice this time, so don't forget snacks. But no need to bring your own instruments. We can use the schools. Oh, one more thing. If my phone is switched off and you need to send me a message, call the school secretary on 03726 998 
She'll find me. That is the end of part two. Test one. Listening. Part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Maria talking to her friend Darren about a dance school. You're looking well, Maria. Are you still doing a lot of running? Actually, I've started going to a dance school. It's great for me because I can get the bus there from the town centre after college. And then it's just a short walk to my house when the lesson ends. What kind of dance classes do you do? The school offers lots of kinds. Jazz dance, modern dance and even street dance. That's the one I chose. Is it expensive? Not really. Normally it's £100 a term, but there's a special offer on this month, so it's £75. That's a discount of £25. Not bad. This sounds like a good activity me. I really need to do more exercise, and I hate sport. I'll ask some of my friends to come too. OK, but why not visit the school first to see if you like it? There's a special show for visitors next Saturday. Come to my house at 2pm and we'll go together. That's a brilliant idea. Thanks. I know how to get to your place by bus. Great. See you then. Now listen again. You're looking well, Maria. Are you still doing a lot of running? Actually, I've started going to a dance school. It's great for me because I can get the bus there from the town centre after college. And then it's just a short walk to my house when the lesson ends. What kind of dance classes do you do? The school offers lots of kinds. Jazz dance, modern dance and even street dance. That's the one I chose. Is it expensive? Not really. Normally it's £100 a term, but there's a special offer on this month, so it's £75. That's a discount of £25. Not bad. This sounds like a good activity for me. I really need to do more exercise, and I hate sport. I'll ask some of my friends to come too. OK, but why not visit the school first to see if you like it? There's a special show for visitors next Saturday. Come to my house at 2pm and we'll go together. That's a brilliant idea. Thanks. I know how to get to your place by bus. Great. See you then. That is the end of part three. Test one. Listening. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 16 to 20 now. You have 15 seconds. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking. Where are they? I'm really hungry. 
I forgot to eat before we left the house. Me too. I'm starving. And we won't get to our station for another two hours. How much money have you got on you? Six pounds. It's enough to get a couple of sandwiches. OK, you go and get them. I'll stay in my seat and look after our bags. Now listen again. I'm really hungry. I forgot to eat before we left the house. Me too. I'm starving. And we won't get to our station for another two hours. How much money have you got on you? Six pounds. It's enough to get a couple of sandwiches. OK. You go and get them. I'll stay in my seat and look after our bags. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking in a clothes shop. What doesn't the man like about the jacket? So, do you think you'll buy the jacket? That dark blue really suits you. I'm not sure. I agree about the colour, but it's a bit too short at the back. Ah, oh, I see. Well, at that price, you have to be sure you really love it. You're right. OK, let's keep looking. Now listen again. So, do you think you'll buy the jacket? That dark blue really suits you. I'm not sure. I agree about the colour, but it's a bit too short at the back. Ah, oh, I see. Well, at that price, you have to be sure you really love it. You're right. OK, let's keep looking. Eighteen. You will hear a woman talking on the radio. What is she doing? There are too many cooking shows on TV. The thing is, I'm not interested. I've got lots of hobbies. But cooking isn't one of them. If you're like me, just use the supermarket. That's what I do. And you should too. The shelves are full of ready meals. And lots of them are really nice and healthy too. 19. Now listen again. There are too many cooking shows on TV. The thing is, I'm not interested. I've got lots of hobbies, but cooking isn't one of them. If you're like me, just use the supermarket. That's what I do. And you should too. The shelves are full of ready meals, and lots of them are really nice and healthy too. 19. You will hear two friends talking at home. What have they just broken? Oh, no. How did that happen? I'm really sorry. I didn't see it there by the sofa. I kicked it over by accident. We were both so busy playing our game. We'd better clean it up or someone will cut themselves. OK. I'll get a cloth as well. There's water everywhere. 19. Now listen again. Oh, no. How did that happen? I'm really sorry. I didn't see it there by the sofa. I kicked it over by accident. We were both so busy playing our game. We'd better clean it up or someone will cut themselves. OK. I'll get cloth as well. There's water everywhere. 20. You will hear a man describing a painting. What is the painting of? Now, this is the painting we gave first prize to. It shows a moment just after the rain has stopped. The sun is out, and the trees and plants in the gardens look fresh and beautiful. The colours of the doors and roofs are so bright, 
and a few people are just starting to come out of their houses. Now listen again. Now this is the painting we gave first prize to. It shows a moment just after the rain has stopped. The sun is out and the trees and plants in the gardens look fresh and beautiful. The colours of the doors and roofs are so bright and a few people are just starting to come out of their houses. That is the end of part four. Test one. Listening. Part 5 Now look at part 5 For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Pete talking to a friend about his holiday plans. What is his plan for each day? What are you doing over the holidays, Pete? On Monday, nothing, except sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> what about Tuesday? Well, my friend is coming to stay with me for a few days, so I want to get all my schoolwork done that day before he arrives. I've got a lot of maths and French to do. Good idea. So are you going out with your friend on Wednesday? That's right. I'm taking him round the city. I want to show him the castle and all the other interesting places we've got here. You'll need a rest after that. No time. On Thursday we're playing tennis at my club, the one near the supermarket. And we might go swimming afterwards. What about Friday? I've got cinema tickets. I wanted to take him to the theatre, but it was too expensive. I know what you mean. And I guess your friend goes home on Saturday? Yes, but not till the evening. Before that, he wants to get some new sports clothes in the city. So we'll do that together. Sounds like you'll have a great holiday. Now listen again. What are you doing over the holidays, Pete? On Monday, nothing, except sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> what about Tuesday? Well, my friend is coming to stay with me for a few days, so I want to get all my schoolwork done that day before he arrives. I've got a lot of maths and French to do. Good idea. So are you going out with your friend on Wednesday? That's right. I'm taking him round the city. I want to show him the castle and all the other interesting places we've got here. You'll need a rest after that. No time. On Thursday we're playing tennis at my club, the one near the supermarket. And we might go swimming afterwards. What about Friday? I've got cinema tickets. I wanted to take him to the theatre, but it was too expensive. I know what you mean. And I guess your friend goes home on Saturday? Yes, but not till the evening. Before that, he wants to get some new sports clothes in the city. So we'll do that together. Sounds like you'll have a great holiday. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.